how would you simplify this expression? What is the square root of negative 9? How can we find the square root of a negative number? Let's compare this to the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3 because we know that 3 times 3 is equal to 9. But now, if we were to multiply negative 3 together, that will also give us positive 9. We can't find two identical numbers when multiplied to each other that's going to give us negative 9. It just doesn't work that way. So what do we do here? Whenever you're taking the square root of a negative number, you need to introduce the idea of imaginary numbers. The imaginary number i is equal to the square root of negative 1. And you need to incorporate this in order to answer this problem. So the square root of negative 9, what we can do is break that up into the square root of 9 times the square root of negative 1, because 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. Now the square root of 9, we can make that 3. And the square root of negative 1, that becomes i. So 3 times i is simply 3i. So that's the answer for this problem. That's what we can evaluate the square root of negative 9. Now let's try some other problems. Feel free to work on these two example problems if you want to. Take a minute, pause the video, and try this problem as well as this one. Now the square root of negative 49, we can write that as 49 times negative 1. And we know the square root of 49 is 7 because it's a perfect square. 7 times 7 is 49. And the square root of negative 1 is i. So this becomes 7. Now what about the square root of negative 75? What can we say for that one? 75 is not a perfect square, like 4, 9, 16, 25, or 49. However, 3 times 25 is 75, and 25 is a perfect square. So what we want to do is we want to break down 75 into 25 and 3, because 25 is the highest perfect square that goes into 75. So we're going to have this. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of negative 1 is i. So it's simply 5 root 3 times i. Now, let's try another problem like that. Go ahead and simplify this one. Square root negative 108. And also negative square root negative 80. So in order to simplify the square root of 108, we want to find the highest perfect square that goes into 108. So the perfect squares that we know are 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64. So what's the highest perfect square that goes into 108? The answer is 36. 36 times 3 is 108. So we can write this as the square root of 36 times the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of 36 is 6. And the square root of negative 1, we know it to be i. So our final answer is going to be 6 square root 3 times i. Now for the next one, we need to find the highest perfect square that goes into 80. This is going to be 16. 16 times 5 is 80. So what we're going to have is 16, 5, and the square root of negative 1. So the negative on the outside, that's going to stay there. So we're just going to keep it here. So we have negative. The square root of 16 is 4. And then times the square root of 5. And the square root of negative 1 is i. So this is going to be negative 4 root 5 times i. There's a train passing by. 
Now, let's say if we have this quadratic equation, x squared plus 18, I'm going to draw a better 8, x squared plus 18 is equal to 0. And we're tasked with the assignment to solve for x. How can we do that? The first thing I would do in this problem is I would subtract both sides by 18. So 18 and negative 18 will cancel out. I can bring down x squared. And 0 plus negative 18 is negative 18. So I get x squared is equal to negative 18. Now, in order to get x by itself, in order to solve for the value of x, I need to go ahead and take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x. What about the square root of negative 18? Whenever you take the square root of x squared, you're going to get two possible answers. So it's going to be plus or minus, and then the square root of negative 18. So let's break this up into two parts. So the first answer is going to be positive square root negative 18. And the second answer for the value of x is going to be negative square root negative 18. Now, the highest perfect square that goes into 18 is going to be 9. So we can write this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. So this is going to simplify to positive. The square root of 9 is 3, so this is going to be 3 square root 2 and then times i. For the other one, everything is going to be the same. The only difference is we're going to have a negative value as our final answer instead. So we're still going to get 3 root 2i, but it's going to be negative. So we get two possible answers. x could be positive 3 square root 2 times i, and x could be negative 3 square root 2 times i. So we can write the answer like this. x is equal to plus or minus 3 square root 2 times i. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to simplify square root expressions with negative numbers. Now, for those of you who do want more example problems on this topic, simplifying square roots, even cube roots, check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to put some more video content that is related to this video. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.